shocking details, and we have them all for you right here in this report, from Dr. Michael Bodden, the forensic pathologist who examined John and Joy Sheridan's bodies just days after they were found inside their home in Montgomery Township after a house fire, both dead. Prosecutors have declared the case a murder-suicide. The family is fighting to overturn that, and now Bodden's affidavit is a key piece in it. He alleges they were killed by an intruder, and he says he has the forensic evidence to back it up, including blood spatter on the second floor landing, the DNA of an unknown male on one of the knives, and no evidence that John Sheridan was depressed or suicidal. Dr. Bodden says he's staking his medical expertise and saying that the case should be changed from a suicide to an undetermined death for John Sheridan. Now, to get an idea of what could happen next, we spoke to Bob Bianchi, the former Morris County prosecutor, who's expressed his doubts on these findings from the beginning. I agree with Bottom's report completely. The fact that there was no transfer was something that always bothered me. When you're doing an up-and-close personal homicide like this, there's no way you're not getting blood and DNA all over you, and him not having her blood on him was a telltale sign to me. Let's take a look at this report, which we just received. Now, Baden examined John Sheridan's body back in 2014, and he had Dr. Henry Lee take a second look at the DNA. The injuries on John Sheridan, including blunt force injuries to the chest and ribs that are consistent with being struck by a fire poker and a chipped tooth are, according to Baden, consistent with having been caused by a third person. I've seen this happen. Once they decide, and I've seen it happen literally on scenes, that this is the guy who did it, they disregard all the evidence that suggests something to the contrary. So I think that that's what occurred here. They kind of made a conclusion and then put the square peg in the round hole and disregarded substantial pieces of evidence like blood spatter. Of course, that's huge. We've received no comment from the prosecutor's office. This is all under litigation right now. Bianchi also says that it's very important in these cases for the direction to come from the top. If you remember, Governor Christie fired the Somerset County prosecutor, Jeffrey Soriano, replaced him with a new guy. Bianchi says he would have told his guys if they were investigating this case to make sure they ruled out everything before declaring it a murder-suicide. This is what I'd be telling my staff. Here's the rule. The rule is it's a double homicide until you can prove to me beyond a reasonable doubt that it's not. And if you can't, it's an indeterminate death. This is a very strange case, and it's going to keep getting more interesting for us. I'm delving into it further this week. Michael Bodden was hired by the family, so from the beginning, you get the impression that he was not looking for a murder-suicide. He was looking for somebody else. And back in February, he made allegations working with the state's medical examiner that there was a third knife that was not recovered, not just the two knives. Bodden says in this affidavit that he spoke with the first medical examiner who did this autopsy, and they both concur that there was a third weapon that's you know, missing I, from well, the scene. True, and, and far be it for me to argue with Bob Bianchi. He's forgotten more about prosecutorial law than I'll ever know, but I'm not so sure he's right about being able to pursue this case, even if they do find a suspect, yeah. this thing has been butchered up well, one uh, side and down the other. Uh, the evidence contradicts itself. The investigation was a mess. Yeah. Do we know what's next? Is there yeah. now a new court filing? Okay, here's what happens. This affidavit was filed as part of the lawsuit to change the cause of death from suicide to undetermined. The attorney general's office said that they should have a decision within 30 days. We'll see. Good.